In this video, guys, we're going to look at some of the stocks that are negatively and positively affected by the coronavirus. Stay tuned. Hey, traders, warm welcome to you. All right, so coronavirus, um, unfortunate events that are happening over in China at the moment. Uh, this is spreading pretty rapidly. Uh, things can change day to day. It could get worse, could get slightly better. We start to see other countries with confirmed cases. Regardless of where it's going to go, um, there are some stocks that have reacted both positively and negatively to potential uh, further problems or the other way around. So what I've got for you today is a kind of two ways of looking at things. If you're one of those traders who's like, listen, I can't affect what happens over uh, other places. I can't affect what happens with this virus. I'm just here to do a job. There's some stocks for you on that side of the coin. If you're one of those traders who's like, okay, I don't really want to start making money from other people's uh, troubles or misfortune, then there are some trades for that. There's some two trades on both sides of the coin. Uh, and some of these stocks are, are more obvious ones, and some of them are less obvious, but if you dig a little bit deeper, you realize that they've got exposure uh, one way or another. So before we hit the screens, uh, there's two ways of looking at this. One is you can play the trade of, I think this is going to get worse, and so I'm going to bet on stocks that are going to benefit from uh, this getting worse. The other side of the coin is to say, hey, I think that this will be contained. I think this is, this is a bit of uh, scaremongering. And I feel that actually uh, these are stocks that are now going to benefit having been hit from a rebound as China gets control of this, as it doesn't become such an epidemic that uh, people expected. So there's not two ways of looking at it. So let's take the screens and look at some stocks that I picked out for you guys. Let's go. All right, guys. So there's a couple of ways of looking at these things. Um, the first one is obviously... Uh, the biotech companies. You know, we've got companies here like um, Envax, and I've got a daily chart at the bottom here, and I'm going to just get rid of this moving average, don't need that. And I've got a, um, I'm going to have five minute chart on the top there. I just want to show you kind of how it's been moving around. So Envax, obviously, um, Nor uh, no Novavax uh, is the uh, name of the company. These guys obviously doing vaccinations, um, bits and pieces. Uh, as a as similar with some of these stocks, quite a similarity here is, you know, you could, obviously the obvious play here is if if there's an issue with this uh, virus spreading more than people are expecting, or becoming a serious issue, or more serious than it is already. Obviously, people have lost their lives, so it's, well, it's still serious, but the concern of it becoming a bit of a global pandemic, then the virus companies are the ones that are going to make the money because if they can come up with a virus that helps cure this, then it could be company changing for many of these small companies. So NVAX, uh, you can see here, we've you know we spiked up from another $5 mark to a $10 mark. It's been oscillating around, it's down a little bit today. Um, the trade would be, if you believe that this virus is, is going to get worse, would obviously be to pick uh, potentially a basket of these biotech companies and which one ends up getting the, the vaccine to market first, if you like. If you believed that actually it was going to be contained and there's no need for a vaccine, then these may well offer short opportunities, assume you can borrow the stock for kind of retracement back to where they were before. Uh, but bearing in mind, you know, short on these kind of things can be quite dangerous because they can really, really rip. And the other one um, I've got for you guys is... Um, a&O, same kind of thing. Uh, they're looking for you know, viruses or ways to help with the, the uh, outbreak. And the other one here, and we'll just get down here very quickly. Uh, I've got CODX, same kind of thing. That's in the same benchmark, in the same uh, ballpark, if you like. Uh, this again, this is you know, this is why you've got to be careful shorting the stuff. But in the, the day, the likelihood is if they're mean reverting back to where they were, there's an opportunity there. If again this starts to get some traction, the outbreak starts to get some traction, this could easily go up two, three, four hundred percent. Um, and the same with VIR as well, VIR is back to where it was. So we've got a few in there, we've got NVAX, INO, CODX, VIR. So those are the obvious ones if you like. Now the other one uh, from the same family is Lakeland Industries. Now these guys, if you were trading around in the Ebola, um, outbreak, they shot up massively back over here, I think we were, weren't we? They shot up massively, look at that. That was, you know, we spiked up from nine to, to kind of almost $30 and back down again when it was contained. So these guys make 
uh, kind of some of this safety equipment and personal protection equipment for dealing with these things. They make some suits and other bits and pieces. So that's their um, edge, if you like, in this market. So obviously the obvious players, if it gets worse, people need more uh, protection equipment, this company's gonna benefit. If it gets more contained, the obvious one uh, play for this is that it drifts back down to where it was. Okay, so those are pure plays for the coronavirus. Now we've got some others which are affected by the virus, um, more than perhaps would realize, and maybe if you don't wanna play the virus as a specific trade idea, i.e. you think it's gonna get worse, or you think it's gonna get better, there are other ways of playing it. Now, the, the obvious ones are, are the hotels. So many of these hotel companies like Hilton, like Marriott, have a lot of income coming from China and of course, will generally struggle if there's a quarantine in place, if people aren't traveling, people aren't staying in hotels, whether that's China, whether that's globally. So these are ones to watch. Hilton and Marriott. Now the obvious play here is if you believe that the virus is gonna be contained, everything's gonna be okay, these may well be good buys because everyone starts to move again. Maybe everybody starts to, is, and is a kind of second tier play to think about, maybe everybody starts to think about, well, what do we do now that quarantine's over? Do we celebrate? Do we have a late celebration with this? Do we do that? Do we that? Do we, are we thankful for, you know, grateful for, for our lives and all this kind of stuff? And are they starting to spend more? Who knows? I mean, that's that's a, a little bit of a chess decision to make. But Hilton, Marriott, uh, ways to trade that get exposure uh, to the movement and the, and the vacations and the holidays of people. Similarly as well, of course, if you think it was going to get worse, then there's short opportunities there. Uh, but that's obviously, that's not pure virus play. They've got their own um, revenue streams that are not reliant 100% on whether the virus... Uh, expands or not. So another one is Nike and Estee Lauder. So you might think, well, there's a bizarre kind of few here. Um, let's start with Estee Lauder. So Estee Lauder, both Nike and Estee Lauder apparently received 17% of their, 17% of their revenue from China. So you can see how this could impact the revenue. We're not talking about uh, the company doubling or halving here but there's potential to do some damage with these companies if it happens to be an issue that China really, you know, struggle with this. Are they gonna go out and start buying trainers? Are they gonna go out and start buying uh, makeup products? Probably not, and so that could affect the company. So this isn't, again, not a pure play, but one that could be impacted. Now Estee Lauder particularly, uh, because it's a, obviously less liquid than Nike, you know, it's been impacted quite heavily. So if you thought, uh, and you stripped out everything else from the decision making process that it wasn't be too bad. Uh, these are the kind of things that you could potentially buy for a move back to highs. And you notice um, today, today just when I'm filming this, there's a bit of fear has been squashed a little bit. You can see the kind of scary uh, biotech companies that are kind of gonna make money uh, if the virus really gets some traction are down. And some of these hoteliers and stuff which have been struggling because of the virus are up. So that's Nike and Estee Lauder for you. Again, these are ones that I've picked purely because they have an exposure more than most, but they're still obviously uh, you know, a play or a trade in their own right. And the final one is, I've just picked one of them guys, is the casinos. So the casinos, just like the hotels, just like the airlines, uh, these may well struggle, especially with you know, a lot of the uh, exposure they've got to Asia, Wynn uh, Resort specifically, you know, these guys may well struggle if people aren't moving around, people aren't moving around, people aren't spending money, that is going to affect them. Again, not a pure play on the virus, but something that potentially could be on the watch list. All right, guys, so those are a few stocks to look at that have been affected by the coronavirus. Uh, we've got the biotechs, obviously, with the vaccinations, we've got the personal protection equipment. We've got the travel issue in terms of the hotels, um, the casinos and some airlines as well, which I hadn't put on there. And there's also the issue with some of those companies that are making a lot of money from China. So whatever happens, uh, there's some opportunity, of course, the yen is moving, uh, the US indices are moving, equities are moving, European equities are moving, as are Asian equities. Um, and let's see what happens with it. Um, you know, hopefully from a, a kind of broad human, a human perspective, this thing uh, comes under control, but there are trades out there that are being affected by the virus, um, whatever happens with it. Take care, what are you doing guys? Keep your risk management, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.